Hi guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel, Partner in Crime. We actually made it out to the Epcot Festival of the Arts. Can you even believe it? Can you believe you're here? I cannot. <laughs> I was not planning to be here at all, so I'm actually pretty excited. I have no idea. I'm in a dream. It's a dream that I'm here. And behind me is the Epcot Ball. And we're gonna have a fun day today. We all, we have like eight hours. Eight hours seems like a lot of time, but it is not, okay? We're gonna try to hit up as many food booths as we can. We're gonna start off at the aquarium because I wanna go to the aquarium. Because this bee has never <laughs> been and she really, really wants to go. So we're I gonna start see there. Big Joe. Big Joe. Big Joe the manatee. Yes. Watch the Animal Kingdom show on Disney Plus. It walks you through like all the animals. You guys can know them. So when you come to Animal Kingdom, and also the seas here at Epcot, you know some of these animals. So we're gonna go see the Manatee Big Joe and then we're gonna start going through this passport around World Showcase. We don't really have a plan today. Our plan is to have a great time. Maybe get a, a boarding group for Cosmic Rewind. That's what we're gonna try to do and that's coming up literally in 15 minutes. So I gotta go because I gotta get ready to jump on that boarding group. It's a little windy today, guys. I'm doing all this filming on my phone. I did not bring my camera, so if you hear the wind, I'm very, very sorry. But we've literally already spotted our first celebrity, Minnie Mouse herself. She's over here meeting all her guests here at Epcot, all of the little princesses. I'm gonna show you Minnie herself. There she is, dressed in her classic red polka dot, talking to her adoring fans, giving hugs and all the above. And let's move on. <laughs> okay guys, we've made it to the manatees. We are on the hunt for Big Joe. Is that Big Joe? Is it? That one's not. Oh, there's the other one right there. Is that Big Joe? I think that one is. Oh my God. Did Big Joe get a friend? I don't know. No, I know there was like two of them in here. Yeah, that one's Big Joe. That's Big Joe. Joe, you're so Big Joe. Whoa. Oh, he's got a bump him. They're playing bumper manis. Bumper manis. <laughs> oh my God. Big Joe. Joe, we're here. I know, they just fed you, Joe. Are you gonna go poopsies? So how do you know it's Joe, Liana? Because of his tail. The tail? Yes. yes. Oh my God, you're so big, Joe. Look at you, are you wiping your mouth? Oh, Joe. I wonder if you can see them from above too. I don't know, we'll have to go above and see. Unless you want to swim down, Mr. Joe. I know, we're just getting your tail and your big old belly. Oh, Not that that ain't that's cute, like, but your friend over oh, here is swimming, oh, eating some lettuce, enjoying himself. Oh, there he goes. Oh my God. Oh my God, your face, Joe. Oh my God, Big Joe. Are you gonna go after that lettuce? Oh yeah, yes, lunch time. Oh, hi big guy. This is the upper level. Oh, is he leaving? Oh, I think he's... No, he's going to get some... Some more food. Oh, is he leaving? Yeah, yeah, they're leaving. Come back! Honey! He looks so small. I know he's not small, but he looks small. So they have all their lettuce heads over here. I'm assuming that's like iceberg. This looks like romaine. I don't know if they have like feeding times. Oh, right there, they have Lou and Little Joe. They saw him right there, Liana, the, on the wall. Lou is, oh dang, 1910 pounds, 1,910 pounds. And Little Joe is an orphan, oh my God. And he's 17, 
1,705 pounds. So that was a little view of the seas here with Nemo and friends. We got to see Big Joe, which was our number one. We got to see the sea turtles, um, the dolphins. You guys definitely need to come. It's a great, great aquarium. Also, we were able to get a boarding group for Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind at one o'clock. I was on there right at one. We're boarding group 131, and I think they're boarding right now group 83. So it should be maybe, I'm gonna say, three hours two hours but we're gonna try to go start world showcase i'm so hungry i can't wait to eat at the booth it's a beautiful day guys it's like high of 78 i brought my spirit jersey just in case it gets colder tonight but right now it is a beautiful day so we found another celebrity sighting it's winnie the pooh i think he's trying to catch some butterflies look at him I think he needs some help. Liana, go help him. Go help him. Jump the fence, but don't get kicked out. She's <laughs> getting you in trouble. <laughs> That's what sisters are for. <laughs> yeah, I know, exactly. Oh, Pooh, you'll get it, honey. You'll get it. For Festival of the Arts, they have these drawings. Okay guys, so we are starting World Showcase in all the booths. So I'm not a Disney vlogger, guys. I don't really know the history. I know Festival of the Arts is like two to three years old. I don't know all the history, but we're here to just have a good day. I'm gonna show you guys our day experience, Festival of the Arts. But if you wanna know the history and if you wanna know facts and if you wanna know the dates, go watch another Follow vlogger. <laughs> but we're just here to have a good time and try some food and look at some beautiful art. Oh, but food. we've been before because we came last year yes, to the yes. Festival of the Arts and we had a great time. Um, but we came randomly. We just happened to be here during that time. But yeah, we're not a history channel here, y'all. But we can be because I'm pretty smart in history too. <laughs> okay, so I know Epcot Harmonious is ending soon. I think possibly in April. I'm not exactly sure. Again, I don't really know dates. And Epcot Forever is coming back, which is the nighttime show. Now, this is my first time being here because we've never seen Harmonious. Maybe we'll try to catch it tonight somewhere because I hear you can see it from all of World Showcase. Across from us is the American Pavilion, Pavilion. But these are the barges that everyone talks about that disturbs like the view of World Showcase. And I mean, honestly, this is my first time seeing it again for the first time. They're not as bad as I thought they were. I thought it was gonna be worse, but I can understand how people say like you can't see a cross. Like that's the Italy Pavilion across. So I do get when people say like it disturbs the view. I understand, but I don't think they're that horrible. But if it's a beautiful harmonious show, it's probably worth it. Again, we haven't seen it, but maybe we'll catch it tonight. I know these are some of the artworks here. These are all like Star Wars Mandalorian related. Why is he so sad? There are so many booths here. Every single like tent, covered tent are all booths. And then these type of little hut thingies are like where they have the festival food. 
Let's see what's this one. We've already been to a couple of them, which they're desserts. We definitely want to try desserts, but we really, really, really want food right now. Oh, the bone marrow risotto. I freaking love risotto, but I need the pictures. No pictures. Okay, vibrante and vivido is our first one. We're gonna get this chorizo and potato empanada, and I think we're gonna get this passion fruit mousse. It looks so pretty. That is pretty. Thank you. Look at how pretty. Instagram worthy. I'm gonna have to take a photo of that. I'm Ooh, trying to try them, good. but the camera has to eat first, so. I'm, like, I'm almost done. I'm almost done. I really want to take a bite of that one so bad. It is so pretty. It's okay, gonna look good on my Instagram. Oh my god. It's gonna be like a jelly tin. Oh my god, look at that. Wow, look at that. Oh, there's like a raspberry inside. Okay. Oh my God, dude, that is so bomb. It's so tart. Mm. Whoa. This is so good. Actually, I can live without the middle part, so you can eat that part. No, it's like the most, well, like a raspberry tart. Mm, that's so good. We said we were gonna do desserts first, and here we are. Doing desserts. I'm already sweating, guys. I'm so hot. But man, that is the bomb. Take it, this damn receipt. Take your damn receipt. All right, now let's try this. Em <coughs> I'm joking. <laughs> this empanada. <laughs> this is gonna be quite a mixture of this empanada, but I heard good things about it. Oh my god, it looks like that's mustard. No, don't say that. I'm not a big fan of that. Oh my god, you didn't even get a knife. Oh my god. Yes. Kind of person are you? She's gonna go grab a knife. But look at that empanada. That passion fruit, man. I'm like obsessed with it. Can you cut it for me, please? Please? I'm trying, I'm trying. Dude, this does not want cut. Is that mustard? I don't know, I can't tell. Okay, we'll eat it and find out. Cheers, it smells, it literally smells like chorizo. Ooh, I like chorizo. Is it mustard? Mm. Is it good? It's good. We just don't know what the sauce is. <laughs> it literally tastes like a chorizo empanada. I mean, it tastes like an empanada, which is like that bready texture, and it tastes like chorizo. Mm. I'm having technical difficulties. Mm. It's good, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Honestly, the two things that we bought here, delicious. Like, did you show the little booth? Post? Yeah, not complaining. See? This one right here, so good. Okay, so we came to the pastoral pal palette. I don't know how to say that, but this is the red wine braised beef short rib. That's what it looks like. Very cute. It? Yeah, Leanna's gonna taste test. Yeah, it looks like it like falls right apart. That actually looks really good. It actually is really good. Really? It's sweet. Sweet? But it, yeah, it has like a sweet sauce to it. I think it's good. Try it. Oh, wow. They're sweet. That's a sweet taste, right? No? Yeah? I don't really know if I like that. I don't know. I think it's good. It has a but, yeah, super uh, pepper taste. Pepper? Yes. I think because look at all those those uh, peppers on top. I think I got that. Oh, okay. I like the mashed potato. Yeah, I'm not getting any pepper. I don't think I like it. You don't like it? Uh-uh. It's got a... It's not bad, but the taste is different. It is sweet or something. It has that sweet... like It's, not, it's sweet. It has that sweet taste to it. It's all you. Try a tomato. Nah. Ah! This girl is so happy. She wanted a snow cone so bad. I got my cherry and my blue raspberry. Who comes to Epcot World Showcase and gets a snow cone? Me. Oh my god. I'm excited. It's not called snow cone. It's called shaved ice. Oh my god. 
You gotta get the lingo right. Hey, you want some? Is that so epic? Yes. One of my favorites. But does it taste like regular snow cone? Mm hmm Oh my god. And what, that's $10? <laughs> oh dang, that was a good uh, shot with the bubbles. I think it was like six fifty. Oh, okay. Six fifty because I got the little one. Everyone has bubble makers. You can get one flavor, two flavors, or rainbow, but mango. one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. Yeah. yeah. But the rainbow had melon in it, and I don't know if melon's good with shaved ice, so I didn't get rainbow. Okay. Enjoy that. Thank you. Okay, so we made it to the back of France. This is the Remy's Ratatouille Adventure. We've never been on this ride. They have it in Paris. I hear it's identical to the one here in Epcot, but it is a 70 minute wait. I don't know if we wanna wait for that right now. Maybe later if it goes down, but this is the entrance and it looks really, really pretty, very Parisian. And I'm sure it's a great ride. If you've been on it, I mean, I'm sure you've had a great time. It's like a 3D ride, but yeah, we definitely don't wanna wait 70 minutes. I mean, I don't even know if that looks like 70 minutes, but Possibly, the line goes all the way back there. So we'll see. Okay, we made it to the painted table. We got this right here, the charred soup pork bun for $8.50. table. Oh shoot, panda, the painted panda. And this is what it looks like. It definitely does look different, a lot brighter in color. So we're gonna give it a try. Okay, we're gonna give this baby a try. This looks like, um, like sweet and sour sauce. I like it. Sweet sour. It's pretty good. Right? I like it. It's like barbecue pork. Yeah. With sweet and sour sauce. Like you know the egg roll sauce? But I like I like the bun. It's very like soft mm -hmm. and moussey. But I like the meat. Though. <laughs> I like the meat and the sauce. Everything's pretty good. I wish it was a little bigger, but overall it's pretty good. Oh, you stepped on my bow. The only way I was able to get on. We have our own little boatsies. This is kind of awesome. I needed this. Together. We're always together. Oh, they're all the three caballeros. Oh my God, we're so excited. We're at El Artista Ambierto. And my sister's getting carne asada. I really wanna try this margarita marshmallow. This is the first one that I'm getting that's an alcoholic drink. Hey, let me see, let me see. Come here. Hi. Wow, it's so pequeño. Oh, it's poured. So it's already mixed. Oh my God, the toasted marshmallow. Wow, thank you so much. You're Look at how pretty. Oh. Ooh. Oh wow, that definitely has like a heat. I can like taste mezcal. I don't even know if it had mezcal. There's a table over there. You want to go that way? Yeah. Let's go. Dang, we ate this carne asada. And I think this is like sweet potato. So fast. Because it's good. My only critique, it's so small for $10, but this like Sweet potato puree is delish. The meat is cooked to perfection. It's not like dry or anything. It's really good. It came with three pieces. She ate. Um, I'm trying to cut it in half, but it's not working. Oh, she wants me to eat all her finger no, juices. No, that's this part. Okay, her mouth juices. But it was really good. We truly enjoyed it. I wish it was more for $10, but it wasn't. Okay, so now for the margarita. It's called the Boom Bon, the Bomboon Margarita Marshmallow. It is illegal mezcal. That's what it says. Illegal mezcal reposado marshmallow cordial cordial cordial. I don't know. I can't read. Um, lime juice, agave nectar, and a hint of coffee. I need that coffee because I need to pick me up. An elderflower served with a toasted marshmallow. 
and this is what it looks like. She's over here Googling Guardians. Yeah, I'm Googling the Cosmic Rewind to see if I'm she's gonna get on it. She's being a little, she's gonna get on it. I don't care what she says, but cheers guys. I really wanted to try this when I saw it. Mm. It's not bad. My only thing is I'm not really a mezcal fan because mezcal is like, it brings that heat and I'm not really a fan of the heat, but it's not a bad drink. Like it's not strong. It just has that heavy heat taste from the mezcal. But other than that, it's a pretty like, it's not strong. It's just, it's just the heat. You wanna try it, dude? I'm nervous. You ain't gonna like it. Cause you just don't like alcohol period. No, I don't. No. It's not gross though. Yeah, it's just the heat. You yeah. taste just the mezcal. It's like a very like, it's get like not, slapped. Like, either. And it's not strong. It's not I think strong. it's because it's already like pre-mixed, but you just get like slapped with that mezcal. And I'm like, get some of this marshmallow. <laughs> and get it in your purse. No, with your Q-tip just sticking out. <laughs> Spill with my Q-tip sticking out. Oh my God. It's like a toasted marshmallow. With marshmallow? No, good. So they finally called our boarding group for Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Re Rewinds. Are we nervous? Are we excited? Nervous. It's literally both of our first time. This is our first time seeing this area. Our first time gonna be on the ride. Don't know what to expect. I'm not gonna vlog it. I'll vlog everything up to the ride and then I'll let you guys know our final thoughts because I truly want to enjoy the ride, right? Yes. So that's just gonna freak out. I truly feel though you get one opportunity to experience something once and it's full, you know, how you're supposed to experience it. So that's why I don't want to vlog on it. You guys can look up what the ride looks like. I will, like my initial reaction is like, I mean, I've seen the photos of this a million times, but now to ride the ride. And I want the full, like, everyone says it's, you're gonna feel amazing. I'm worried she's gonna get sick, but I hope she's not. But yeah, we're gonna start going into line, but actually let me finish this really quick. Commander of the Nova Corps, on behalf of all Xandarians, I hope you have enjoyed exploring the wonders of Xandar. As you have seen, your world and ours were born of the same moment, one which you refer to as the Big Bang. As such, we are all galactic neighbors in a vast universe which we and countless others share. Epcotians, citizens of Epcot, does anyone know what they call themselves? What? I'm on? Someone needs to tell me what I'm on. Welcome, Epcot Terrence. I am Centurion Tau Merrick, and we're just about ready to teleport you up to the ship for the demonstration. This is a loading zone. They're loading on two sides. I would say we waited like, I don't know, 30 minutes in the virtual queue, something around there. Oh my God. Oh my God, we're nervous. Are you gonna ask for a certain thing or we're just wherever they put us? No, I would think the back is worse than the front. This is gonna either make or break our day. Right. Hope it's not bad, please, Jesus. I'm thinking positive. We're row four. Here comes our car, guys. Okay, we will talk to you after. Oh my god! Okay, guys. So we just got off the Gardens of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind for the first time. And we have, okay, I understand the whole motion sickness thing. 
It's because you're you almost get your equilibrium thrown off because you're being like jolted to see different scenes. And when you're like swaying, you're like, whoa. Because right when we got off, we were like, whoa. Like, yeah. You almost have I'm like a drunk good. feeling. Yeah. But good. honestly, it's a great ride. We got Disco Inferno as our song, which I really wanted Everybody Wants to Rule the World. But I'm very happy with it. I'm like sweating because I'm on such a high right now. I loved it. I would totally do it again. I don't know if you, this is a ride I feel like you can do like two times in a row because it's definitely like gives you, I don't know, it kind of throws you it off throws a little you bit. Off. You need a minute. Yeah, to you need a minute to like, I mean, maybe because we're freaking old. <laughs> you do. Uh, I'm like sweating. You need a minute to like recuperate. And the first thing we did when we got off was like, literally, the exit is right here. And we're like, we have to come sit down because. It throws you off, but it was such a cool ride. I, I can't wait to ride it again. I don't, I don't want to like say a lot. I mean, there's a lot of spoilers, but the, the end scene, you're kind of going around like the moon and you're like swaying. I don't know. It's just so cool, guys. You have to ride it like 10 out of 10. I don't know if it's my favorite. I have to ride it with different songs. I really want to try different songs, but it definitely did not disappoint for like a first time experience, right? But I'm freaking hot now because I'm sweating and I have to go pee and I need some water. <laughs> Okay, another thing we're excited to try, Club Cool. Been wanting to try that Beverly for so long. So pumped, so pumped, so pumped. Okay, try them first and I'll try them. Push, push versus push. I think it's broken. I think you're broken. What is it supposed to be? Just try. No? No. Go in a row. I don't want to try them anymore. Oh my god. Here, push for me, please, Lana. One more? Yeah. This is the Beverly that everyone talks about. It's literally like grapefruit. It's like a grapefruit. It's not that bad. Huh? You kind of just try it. It's a, it's like a bitter grapefruit. Here, push the in on this one. We'll put it towards underneath. underneath. It is. This one's not working. Oh, there oh, it goes. So this is from Dominican Republic. Mmm, I like that one. Oh my god. Push it, push it. It's like an orange. It's like a strong orange. Oh, that one's good. Mm -hmm. okay. I like that one. I hear it. Actually, I, hear, I don't know. Press my joy. Okay, that's, it. that's good. That's a lot. Apple li lychee. Oh my god. That's interesting. It's not bad though. I'll try the barbecue sauce. Yeah, really? So the China one, supposedly. This one was honestly really good. This one was really good. Barbecue sauce, Sprite from Russia. Oh, that's cucumber. Oh, it is cucumber. Press it. It's cucumber. More? Yeah. That's cucumber. Oh my god, yes. It smells like cucumber. I, I like. Mine are all mixed. It's like a cucumber Sprite. Totally a cucumber Sprite. Yeah. All right. The last one is Viva from Moldova. I hear it's good, so let's give it a try. Oh yeah, this one actually tastes a lot like the Royal. They taste very similar. It does. Well, the Royal does have that little bit of watermelon into it. You can taste the difference. Viva was really, really good, actually. Really liked it. The one is the barbecue sauce and that bread. It's crazy because these cups is like all you need because I'm already doing it. I don't need any more. This is uh, like where they're from. So Beverly, no, yes, 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 no, yes, yes. Easy enough. Ooh, yummy. Look you. It's like a work of art. Art, 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 art. I like that one. It's like the watermelon thingy. You guys are like chefs. Okay, so it has become dark, but this is the scallops. It legit is a work of art from the Modern booth. This one was the tropics, which is, you know, dessert. 
that one's I think like a tropical pineapple mousse. I mean, we're just excited to try them. Okay. You wanna take a bite out of that? Oh, it's hard. Mm, I thought it was mousse. It's like bread. Oh, like a cake? Yeah. No, it is mousse. Yeah? So the top part is like a bread. What's the middle? Bread. It's kind of like a mousse, like a custard. Oh. It's like a lemon. But it's good? I think so. I like it. Try like that pink thingy in the this corner. right here, right? Yeah. I want to know what these dots are. That's pineapple bread. Okay. Like a sweet bread. That's actually really good too. What are these? Whipped cream or something, right? Not cool whip? Frosting. Mm. Pineapple jelly. Not bad, not bad. Okay, I'm assuming everything on here is edible. These are probably like... Okay, it's cold. Should I just put this whole thing like, mm. no, I'll cut it in half. Okay. Yeah, it's a little big. You know, I actually really like scallops. These to me, I think they're like um, sauces, so I'm just gonna like mix them together. Yeah. Yes, no, maybe so. What does it taste like? Do you hear the track in the background? <laughs> like a scallop. Like a scallop, okay. I would say like. The scallop tastes like a scallop. Yeah, like it's good. I would say it's nothing like extremely special, but it's good. You know what I mean? Yeah. Is it pricey? Is it? Pricey, yeah. Seven fifty for only two of them, yeah. But it's good. Are you gonna get full? No. <laughs> yeah. But what do the sauces taste like? Is it like avocado? Is it, what is it? I have no idea. Okay. I'll let you try them. All right. Since I have no idea, she's gonna tell me what it tastes like. I swear, I have no idea what it tastes like. When this is over, I can I can taste that the we'll dip them in the sauces. I want to try it separate first. Um. Okay, yeah, that's a scallop. Like I can tell that the sauces are good. I just can't tell what they taste like. Maybe like a creamy avocado on one of them. I don't know. No, that's more cheesy. Cheesy. Mm -hmm. I did not even get cheesy. I'm getting like a buttery, like a milky, buttery something. Cheese. I have no idea. I know one of them was like orange, one of them was white. When you mix them together, it's like, looks like green. And they had like, what like a butternut, butter I think that's like butternut squash maybe. I don't know. It was good. I don't know what it is, but it tastes good. But but yeah, for only two for $7.50, it's a, it's a cute little artsy piece. But is it going to get you full? No. So I know I haven't shown a lot of art today, even though this is the art festival. Only cause guys, there is so much to do here, but these are some of the chalk arts. Believe me, we actually have stopped. We've looked at tons of art things. I just didn't have a chance to vlog them. But yes, we definitely have looked at a lot of art pieces. It's just that there's not enough time in the day to have a great time and try to capture things on camera. But these are all super nice and super well done, honestly. So yeah, great day here at the Art Festival, Festival of the Arts. So our night here is coming to an end. It's almost nine o'clock, which is the end of the park day. We're waiting to watch Harmonious. We've never seen Harmonious. It's our first time and it'll probably be our last time because it's ending soon and we won't be back for it to end. So I put my spirit jersey on finally because it got cool enough to put my spirit jersey on. We just went on Frozen. If you can't hear me, you probably can't even hear me because this thing is so loud. But we're waiting right here in front of World Showcase because we're gonna be watching Harmonious in like 10 minutes or less. And that's exactly when the park closes. <laughs>
Okay guys, so it is the end of the night and it's time to go home. It's currently almost, well, it is 10 o'clock. Uh, park closed at nine, but Harmonious started at nine. Harmonious is around, I would say 20 to 30 minutes, but I did pick up some limited edition pins and I bought this cute little 50th bag for $1.50. The lady said they are trying to get rid of them. So I'm assuming that at one point they costed like more than $1.50 and I picked up four limited edition pins. You guys know that I collect them, but we did have a great day, right? We had a great day. We're so tired and we like to talk about our peaks and our pits. So we kind of already previously discussed it. Mm -hmm. My peak was Guardians of the Galaxy only because I've been wanting to ride it and I thought it was a really cool ride and I can't wait to come back and ride it again and, and have Andrew go on it. My pit was feeling exhausted and at one point I felt really sick like I was going to throw up and I just, I couldn't handle it. I was so sick sickly feeling and then her peak my peak was little joe uh, it manatee. was big joe it's little joe but it's big joe because he's the little one but, but his name big. is big joe and uh um, the manatee the manatee and my pit would have to be my card wasn't working in the beginning so that was very frustrating but you guys know when you are out of your normal area you need to call in your card which she did but for some reason it didn't, it take, didn't it. take it so it wasn't taking her card her debit card which she finally was able to call but she had to spend like like a whole hour in the beginning to call to make sure that they know they knew it was her and not fraud but anyways guys thank you guys so much for watching had a great day i'm so tired i cannot wait to go to sleep take my shoes off and thanks again for joining me on this one and i'll catch you in the next video